What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're down here on the base of Ocracoke Island, right at the south point of it. And I've got my family down here. We've been spending all week down here fishing and swimming and just enjoying our time. But I want to make a quick video on a subject that you don't hear too much of, especially in an area like ours where we're an inland shop. You don't really hear much about drift diving or waves, tides, and currents. You hear just a little bit of it during your open water course, but that's pretty much it. And if you're like us, you dive lakes, you dive streams, you dive quarries and springs, there's really not much waves, tides, and currents you're going to get into unless, of course, you go out into the ocean. Now, when you go out in the ocean, of course, you're going to be out on a boat. But then again, you're not really having to deal with much because the boat crew is telling you everything about the water conditions and things like that. But let's say that you're out here on the beach like we are. Where's going to be the best place to get in the water if you want to make a dive? So I want to show you a quick little clip here of us just driving down the beach. And let's see if you can pick out the best space to dive. So I'll give you a few seconds here. So what do you think guys? Do you think you found the best place? Do you think you could find the rip current or the rip tide going through there? And do you even know what a longshore current is? If these things are interesting to you, check out the link below for our waves, tides, and currents class. You can actually sign up online and then meet up with us and we can do your class. It's a fairly easy class, but it's also a very informative class. It's going to teach you the best places to go out, find an uh, entry point and exit point, especially if you're doing a shore dive in an area like this. Now you might be in a nice little calm area here, or if you look over here on this side, it's actually a little bit rougher. So being able to find that best place to come into to make your entry and exit points are gonna be very important for you, especially if you're gonna be do doing shore diving. But guys, if you got any comments or questions, put it down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer it the best I can. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and definitely share it as well. But as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.